think I hit him on that one. Yep, I did. And I killed him on that one. Okay. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival! Alright, guys, what are we doing today? Well, we're not going to be doing a building episode. Oh, the trees are all gone, thank God. Hopefully they stay gone. We are not going to be doing a building episode. But, here's the thing. We are also not going to be doing a looting episode. I know you guys are might be a little sick of the looting episodes. So, oh, you guys had to put them in here, right? Yeah, I can't put them in there. Um, oh! Oh, that guy just switched. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, we're not going to be doing a looting episode. We're not going to be doing a building episode. Well, you may be saying, Cage, what what are we doing? What are we doing, Cage? What are we doing here? Well, we're going to be going out. We're going to be taking out a bandit camp using bows and arrows. What do you guys think about that? Hey, you like them apples? Uh, I didn't empty this damn thing. All right. I don't have time to empty this right now. Well, you know what I could do? I could empty it like this. And just finish it. Like, I don't think I'm going to be getting a lot of stuff from, from the bandits. So, uh, but I do want to have as much uh, loot as po uh, looting room as possible. Just in case we want to loot stuff. So, I'm just going to throw that stuff on the ground. I'll take care of that when I get back. Um, oh, got to open the door first. There we go. Okay, here we go, bandits. We could probably walk there, to be honest. But I'm going to drive. Because um, I've got a car. Well, I might as well drive. We've actually even got some spark plugs. Who, who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Not a lot of spark plugs, but some spark plugs. Some spark plugs are better than none. All right, so uh, I'm trying to think about how I want to hit this place. Um, I think I'm actually going to come on over here. Oh, uh, look at the bear The bear building. You guys gave me some... Oh, the bear cage. That was the one. That was the one. Um, so hopefully if I remember, I'm going to christen that place as the bear cage. So... All right, so there should be some, yeah, there's going to be a cabin out here, and that's going to be where I'm going to want to use to hit these guys from. Um, I think there's a cabin over here somewhere. Probably should have just went to the road. Would have been a lot easier. Yep, there it is. Okay. All right, well, this is a good place to park. Let's just park here. And uh, let's see if we can do some damage here. Now, I suck with the bow. All right? I suck. But you know what? The more you use it, the better you get. So I'm going to try to do some practice. And you can always tell the house that's closest to the bandit camp over here because there's uh, infected in it. Yep, there's the bandit camp. Okay. All right. Really? What? Okay. You know what? We got to take care of these guys because I don't need them coming out. I might want to actually run in here anyway. So Come on, infected. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. Really? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I really don't want to waste... Uh, really don't waste ammo here, but I also want to be attacking that place if I get, like, hurt. Um, what the hell, dude? Uh, well, I guess I'll use my arrows on you. Oh, yeah, I'll miss you. Oh, okay. Got that one. This one's going to come right at me. Nope, no, he's not. All right, guys, you didn't need to sit through that. I took him out. All right, let's do this. Take out our trusty bow. And let's go ahead and save. Now, if they come at me, I'm switching right to guns. But I'm going to try and use the bow as much as possible. Now, they won't spawn until we get somewhat close. We'll be able to see them spawn in. Watch. Just keep a lookout. You'll see. And he said... Oh, there they are. All right. We didn't get to see them spawn in, but... All right. So, let's just uh, wait until they stop moving. This is the angle we want to be on. Where'd he go? Did they despawn or did, they, did I just go out of viewing distance? Yeah, they despawned. Yeah, you can't get too far away. Oh, they heard something. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. You can't get too far back. Boy, if they, if they introduce sniper rifles to this game, that's going to really cause a problem. Because you really can't get that far away. Come on, guys. There they are. All right, now I'm just going to wait for them to stop walking. Hopefully they don't see me. 
Man, they're all in the same spot. That's not good. That is really not good. Hopefully they'll kind of spread out a little bit. Yep, they're starting to spread out. Okay. Man, this guy's coming way out. Look at this guy. Where's he going? Is he leaving? Did they have a spat? No, seriously, where is he going? Okay, this is just weird. I'm not sure where he's going, but... Can I... This is weird. I don't think they did... Oh, look, he just disappeared because I got too far away from him. Ugh. So they're really making this difficult. I'll try and attack from over here. We'll let him walk away. Let's see if we can hit this guy. I was going to say, I, was, I wish there was some kind of hit marker so I could tell when I hit them. Now, if I run away, he, like, uh, despawns, right? So he's going to, like, come back at full hit points, right? I'm not really sure. I have no idea how this works. And I am using the crappy arrows, guys, but I'm just using them to practice. I will eventually move to the good arrows. All right, let's get him to spawn again. Okay, they heard that, but they don't know where I am. Yeah. Okay, so they're hearing it. They're just not getting me. Guy's really hard to hit because he's right he's right on the other side of those um of those tires. I don't have the angle. And the tires, like the things in this game, tend to like um they have like a higher a uh, 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 bigger hitbox than they look like. So you, you like kind of shoot at somebody and they get it it hits the tires. Damn it. And it's really pulling to the right. And they all just stopped. Oh, I got him. Nice. One down. Can I thread the needle here? Probably not. The trees are going to have a bigger hitbox than I can... That guy's running around. I wonder if he actually sees me. Now, aim to the right, Cage. Oh, two down. <laughs> yeah, a hit marker would really be helpful because I could tell when I'm actually hitting them or not. I mean, I, I can obviously tell when they fall down and, you know, go boom that I hit them, but I want to know before then. That This one might be hitting the tree. Yeah, that, one's, that one might be hitting the tree. I really don't have an angle. Well... Uh, let me move over here. Oh, boy. He sees me. All right. Let's come back here. Hopefully, they're not all respawning when I, like, kind of back up. That's what I'm really worried about. So, but we're getting in practice. We're getting in practice, so. It is perfectly fine. All right. While we're down here and away from them, why don't we go ahead and load up some of the good arrows as well. And we'll have two stacks of the good arrows and one stack of the uh, wooden, the basic arrows. So how is this going to work? Are they all just going to respawn again? That's what I want to know. Where are you guys? Okay, so there's one. Uh, he went over there and kneeled down. I wonder if he grabbed his weapon or something. That was weird. It's almost like he went over to like um, heal his buddy. but Or maybe pick up the weapon? I'm not sure what that was. But I don't think they're respawning because I'm not seeing anybody come out here. Now, if I go in on them, guys, I'm going in uh, guns guns blazing. I'm not going to run in there and use uh, the bow. 
in close quarters. Oh, okay, here we go. We got somebody right there. No, nope, way too far to the left. All right, so there's three left. So they're not respawning. There was five total. Aim to the right. He's right in front of that tree. I'm not going to be able to get him. Yeah, here we go. Damn it! I was just lining him up and he starts moving like a jackass. Okay, he's going to come out. Nope. Alright, so there's two of them out here now. Did they despawn? They despawned. I went too far back. Oh boy. He's got to make the range on that, like, bigger. So they don't despawn like that. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. I meant to do that, too. Like, exactly the way it, w it went down. Freaking bear. Unbelievable. I'm trying to hunt here, bear, you dick. That bear's going to be a problem. He's still there. I just went back far enough so he uh, despawned. Or he, like, I can't see him. Alright, that guy's dead. So there should be one more. Wow, you guys were right, dude. You don't even need the hunting arrows. Just come in here with the, uh... Come in here with the wood arrows. I mean, wow. Okay. I don't like coming in from this angle. I like coming in from that angle. But I'm worried that the bear is still over. Yeah, maybe the bear did despawn. It sounded like he was running at me. And then he just kind of stood there. And now he's gone. I'm going to have to be a little quiet here. Because I need to listen out for that bear. I also like the sound icon because it tells me how many of them are still alive. So I think there's one more. And I don't think he's going to come out. Maybe if I wait long enough, but I don't know. That's a little, that's a little boring. Let's give it a, let's give it a couple, couple seconds, maybe like a minute and uh, see if he comes out. Because if I got to go in, I'm, I know I'm going to take some damage. But I don't think he's going to come out. They have, like, patrol patterns, but, like, usually one of them stays back. And I think the one that stays back is probably the one that's back there. You know what? I'm going to shoot one arrow and see if I can get the little ear icon. So let's see. Let's try over here. Okay, no ear icons. All right, I think we're going to go in. There's one. Just as I get ready to go in. Come on, buddy. Come on. He's coming out, right? Maybe he's not. I saw him go out. Did he go to... Oh, there he is. He's going back in. Damn it. I can get him right here. Did he stop? There we go. Oh, he heard that. And there's only one left. Come on, I can't see now. I can't see because of the ear icon. Come on, get rid of the ear icon. There, okay, where'd he go? There he is. Damn it. Nah. Ah! He's just in a really bad spot for me. I can see exactly where he is because of the ear. Shut up, chicken. Come on, where are you going, dude? I would really like to get this last guy. Let's go. Let's just let's just uh, come come in from over here. Oh, we got the mist. All right, guys, mist is over. So let's see what we got going on here. Oh boy. Oh boy, he didn't like that. He did not like that. He didn't like that arrow to the face. Is he coming after me or? They don't seem to come after you. Maybe he despawned. I'm not sure. It's pretty weird. But I got an arrow to his face. So that's, that's good. <laughs>
Point cage. Hit him with an arrow and didn't die. He was walking right for me, too. Damn. I think I hit him on that one. Yep, I did. And I killed him on that one. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if any of them respawned, but that's definitely five kills. Or at least I think that's five kills. Um, so I'm going to go in now and see what's what. What's going on, guys? I think they're not going to respawn. I, someone told me that if you, kill a, if you kill the bandits, they don't respawn for like a day or two. And I don't think they're going to respawn. Otherwise, you could just like farm their guns all day. Right? So. Nope. Looks like I got them all with arrows. Cool. And I think I got them all with uh, basic arrows. Um, I did shoot some combat arrows, but they didn't hit them. <laughs> that is awesome. Cool. Let's grab all this. It looks like their bodies are despawning too. But when their bodies despawn, I think their stuff drops on the ground. Okay. And look at this. I'm going to get my arrows back. Well, some of them. Yeah, those bodies despawned and the stuff dropped on the ground and did. That is awesome. Yeah, guys, you're right. You're totally right. Arrows are definitely the way to go. No doubt about it. All right. I thought I saw some... Yep, there we go. We got that. I thought I saw something out here. Yep, we got that. They got the crappy pistols now. You notice that? I thought that, I thought they only had the good pistols. I wonder if... I wonder if the different bandit camps have different, like, gear, right? Like, maybe this is, like, the easiest bandit camp and the other ones have, like, better weapons. Maybe. I don't know. Not out of the realm of possibility. Here's all my miss misses. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, looking good. Looking good. Let's come on in here and see if anyone's in here. Nope, I didn't think so. Oh, what, oh look at this. This stuff respawned. There we go. Man, we got stuff all over the place. We should go get our car. So I figured I might as well take out their car here. Um, with any luck, maybe because it's inside the bandit camp, it'll respawn. Yeah, you never know. You know, crazier things have been known to happen. So we did get a battery out of it, which is just sweet. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that shot. <laughs> I meant to do that. Did I ever check these cars? I did. I don't have any um, gas cans. I'd really like to grab the gas. Uh, yeah, let's grab the gas. Why not? Why not? Double check these. Yep. Oh, God. They've got a lot of gas in them. It's good. You can use the gas in uh, the generators, but I, I ch but I choose not to. And the reason I choose not to is because there's only so much gas in the game. It doesn't respawn, and I want it for my car. Will I ever run out of gas? Probably not, but I'm not willing to take that chance. Okay, there we go. Now let's look around the outside first. I'd like to take... Oh, I can take these with me. Um... Yeah, you know what? What does it take to craft these? I remember it took something to craft these that I didn't want to use. Yeah, look at that. Four components? You're damn right. I'll Actually, can I get the components? Let's take one back and destroy the other one. I'm kind of curious if I can get the components out of it. No, I don't want to sleep on it. Here we go. Should be pretty quick. Probably get like two components out of it, I'm imagining. Yep. Well, one. Yeah, I probably... I should have brought it back. But I was curious. I was curious. I had to do it for science for you guys, right? You're welcome. Uh, I don't need saws. They don't break down. Uh, I doubt there's anything on the roof. I went on the roof last when I first took this place. There wasn't anything on there. I don't know why there would be anything on the roof now. All right. Let's uh, look around the outside because why not? I don't think there's going to be anything out here, but you never know. There's something here. I mean, there's nothing there, but there is something there. That Nothing that I need. But could, there could have been. It was worth looking. Alright, so let's come on in here. And let's loot this up. I don't think there's anything in there. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. There's still some stuff in there I couldn't loot. Uh, I'm not taking the pills because I don't need them. Um, aww. Imagine if these were like spark plugs. What's that? What is that? Oh, an electrical part. Not exactly uh, earth shattering, but whatever, I'll take it. 
Oh man, look at these, 100%. Holy crap. Holy crap. Man, the bow. Woo! It's, it's to it's start calling it the uh, Bandit Slayer. The Randit Slayer. That's what they call me. <laughs> Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the other base. Um, and I'm going to break into the... Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the crowbar door in this other building uh, sealed itself up again. So I'm wondering if there's anything in there. Also, when um, when I was done with um, with Mist, the Mist Knight, uh, the, the zombies, the, the infected are dropping stuff. I don't need that, by the way. The infected are still dropping stuff. Infected that I didn't kill. So, yeah. Alright, so let's check in here, and then I think we're done. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, here it is. Okay. I was going to say, I know I could have sworn there was an area in here that, uh, where the door relocked re itself. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So that was actually um, worth it. That was actually worth it. Very worth it, actually. How many times can I say actually? Actually, not anymore. All right. I think that's it for this this spot. You know, guys, the bow is legit badass, but I'm going to have to start using some ammo. <laughs> Look at this, man. I've got like two and a half stacks almost of, uh, of rifle ammo. The thing is, once you start using it, it goes really quickly. <laughs> so, brought my car in. Got everything unloaded. Let's check on the chickens. Chickens are good. They're not multiplying. So I'm not sure what, what's up with those eggs. I don't, you know, not really. I don't really know. But um, I'll eat them. I don't really care, honestly. So it doesn't matter if they multi if the eggs uh, hatch new chickens or not. Um, if it doesn't, if when I run out of food, there's no more chickens, um, like no new chickens, then I'll just go, I'll just eat the damn eggs. Honestly, that's probably all the eggs I'm probably ever gonna need. Uh, all the chickens I'm ever gonna need for eggs anyway. So, all right. So what do we got? We got some food. Let me show you what the food we walked out of there with. I love this room, by the way. We got to get more lights up in this place as well. All right. So, yeah, we walked out of there with a lot of cans of food. Like, we're actually doing good on food now, which is just crazy. I, I forgot I had uh, animal meat cooked on the, on the table from when I, um, <laughs> from when I uh, uh, recorded, you know, the making of this uh of this room, I put the meat on the table just strictly just for the thumbnail. Because <laughs> it'll go bad and then they'll be gone. So, might as well not keep it there. Alright, so let's take a look. We got the gears. We'll put those in there. Throw more of this. Th I'm going to take some of this stuff out and turn it into iron ingots. Not that I need iron ingots, but it is what it is. I mean, I just don't need this much of this, uh, of this scrap iron. Metal scraps. Split, split, split. No, oh, that doesn't make it anymore. Okay. There you go. That is fine. Why isn't this on? There you go. Now we can see the gate. Yeah! The best gate in the whole wide world. Alright, so let's... Uh, do this and this and then chuck and chuck. We've actually got a decent amount of components now, which is good. Um, let's take some of these components, actually. And let's make some lights. Uh, that's in here, right? Oh, that's right. We need the bottles. Again, the bottles here are just for looks. Uh, there we go. You can only make two for now because of the electronic parts. Actually, it's nighttime. Why don't we just put up more lights? Let's do the lights. We got, we got like another minute, and we'll we'll put up some lights. I think that'll, that'll be a good use of our time. Um, I don't know why I came up here. That's not where my, uh, that's not where my circuit boards are. What are they called? Electronic parts, or circuit boards. How many of these do I want? I don't know. Just make six. I'll need at least six. Put that down there, put that down there, put that down there. All right. So I like putting these down as we need them, like during the night, so I could see where to put them down. Because when I try and guess where I want them, it never works out for me. Um, it's better to, it's better to just, uh, it's better to put them down as I need them. So that's good right there, and it's good right there. All right. So we're definitely going to need one here. We may need four for this room. Um, yeah, 
One more, you think? Maybe. Let's see what the generator's looking like. Ah, oh, we got, we got, yeah, let's put another one. I don't think the generator uses up more powers. More, more powers. I don't think the generator uses all of its superhero powers. On the, <laughs> no, I don't think the generator uses up more power unless, um, like, like if I put down more lights, I don't think it works that way. Although I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong, but I don't think I am. Obviously, I don't, I don't think I am or I wouldn't have said it. Alright, so let's, oops. Come on. Oh, come on, right here. Put it on an angle. Just like this. Yeah, I think that'll work. Hmm. Put it back a little bit more. Looks good to me. There we go. All right. All right, it's coming along. It's coming along. I want to put one by the chicken coop because my chickens might get scared at night if there's no if there's not enough lights and I can't have my chickens scared because then they won't lay eggs. So I'm thinking like I don't know. Let's get in there. Let's get in there, get our hands dirty. Um can I not put this underneath or there's plenty of room. So I don't think this will let me put it underneath. Oh that's a Oh that's it. That blows. Um alright, well we'll just put it right here, I guess. Can't put it underneath there either. Oh wait, there we go. Um, that works. Okay, I like it. Wow, that actually looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that looks that looks cool. I like that. This video is not about the chicken coop. Um, it's about fighting the bandits with the bow. But if it, uh, this would make a really nice screenshot. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. I think that is going to bring us to the end. We've got lights all on the bottom part. We're looking good. How much generator fuel, fuel do we have left? we got enough left for two days and 18 hours. Probably kill some bears. I'll probably kill the bears off camera at this point because you see the way I do it. But um, actually, one more thing. One more thing, guys. Hold that thought. I've been meaning to do this for a long time and I keep forgetting. Okay, guys, I could have put it on top of the wall. You could put it, like, right here on top. And I did try that. And it kind of works a little better because it's a little bit closer to the door. But I think it looks really stupid. So I put it like this. And I think that looks much, much nicer. And it actually does light up the area, you know, a decent amount. A decent amount. So... Um, I'll play around with these lights a little bit more off camera. They, the whole idea with these lights is to blind your enemies, you know, and so you can see them, but they can't see you because all they see is a big spotlight. That's the whole idea. Um, and I kind of like it where it is. I might end up moving it to the top of the wall. I might end up doing some other things. I'm not really sure, but that's not what this video is about, and we have gone long. So if you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.